In this video, I want to talk about speed maintenance. This is something that students get marked for uh, often on the road test, is just not driving the correct speed for the conditions. So here we're coming up to a stop sign. We've stopped, we've shoulder checked right. We've checked cross traffic here to see who's approaching. And if it's clear, it's time to go. And notice when the student is going, they're not going with conviction. They're making the turn really slow. And now they're not really getting back up to speed smoothly. So it's their acceleration needs work. And then up ahead is the first speed bump here. And so they start slowing down for the speed bump. And then as they go over the speed bump, and they're off the speed bump, they're still driving really slow. And so this is going to be an issue right off the bat uh, in, on the test. They're gonna be thinking, what's up with this, right? Um, this is not the norm. This is not the speed that is accepted on the road um, from other road users. So you have to drive with the appropriate speed. Yes, we do need to slow down for raised uh, speed humps or raised crosswalks or uh, things of that nature and and yes there is a sign here telling us that there's a speed bump coming up here but um, you need to adjust your speed just before you get to the bump so you can go over it smoothly at around uh, somewhere between 25 to 35 depending on how flat it is on the top of that bump and of course the suspension of your vehicle but um, once you're clear that speed bump you need to start getting back up to speed um, that speed bump is not there to tell you to drive slow it's just there to ensure that people are, are not excessively speeding on this road so we slow down a bit coming up to the speed bump but then after the speed bump we need to show um, people that were gradually getting back up to speed until the next speed bump if there's one on this road.